Robinson. So my, I think, big question is what symptoms does it help with? What symptoms maybe does DBS not help with? And then do you ever see patients get DBS before they're really symptomatic, when they maybe just have mild mild symptoms of Parkinson's? Absolutely. No, it's a great question. Um, in regard to which symptoms they tend to work the best with, it tends to be kind of your, your triage of tremor, rigidity, um, bradykinesia, the, you know, though that world, it does not fix postural instability. So that is one thing that I think a lot of people expect to change, where all of a sudden their balance is drastically going to improve. Now, I say that with a little asterisk sign, mainly because it depends on the source of your balance issue. Now, if you're rigid and you're stiff and you're unable to break out of that bradykinesia, that slowness of movement, if that's your source of balance deficit, then yes that will improve in some manner. But if you have an underlying postural problem, which you would be teasing out with your therapist like Sarah or myself, that may not get better. The only way that's gonna get better is with good therapy. Um, freezing of gait is again, that kind of mix there is a lot of people, it's not one of the ones we campaign to be able to fix with DBS. But again, going along those, that rigidity component, if that's your cause, it may help with it. We had a recent patient where that was his main complaint. We switched him on. He hasn't frozen since he got DBS. So that was a great success for him. There are other people, not so much. And the, you know, the question comes, well, why did that guy work versus the other one? And a lot of it under, you know, it, it comes back to the etiology and kind of the progression of the disease, depending on where it's hitting in the brain, um, in particular your executive function. So that high level thinking, the frontal cortex, that spot of spatial reasoning lives there. So how we manipulate, problem solve space. And if that has a deficit, that can exacerbate these freezing of gait moments. In addition, anxiety, stressors. So if you're a little more of an anxious person, stressed out person, learning relaxation techniques, breathing techniques, yoga, again, all stuff that you wanna be working on with your therapist.